So now we want to learn how can we use gather function, which is found on a tidy package with some real data, right? Say for example, here we are going to use um, this data set, which is Dow Jones data, right? So this data set is found on this package, which is um, a Mango training. Okay, I'm also going to load this data, which is tidy data tidy package i'm gonna load the package which is tidy package and let's run this and let us look into the head of this data so if we say dow john's data and look at the first three observation so this is just the stock data it contains the date um the opening price and the high value and the low value right so let's say for example we want to only you take data uh, column and also the high value and the low value okay so we will we're going to find what the subset so let's say this is um dow jones index data and then we want to use um that Dow Jones data, so we're going to you only need um, date column, and we're going to need um, the high and the low, right? And say Jones dot low, so. We want to find the subset and only use, so let's say now the head of our data. And we're going to look into the first tree observation. And so we have now find the subset of the data. So now let us look at gate of function in action. Now suppose that we want to create two new columns, right? So the first column that we want to create will actually specify um, whether it, um, it's, it's Dow Jones index high value or it's Dow Jones index low value, right? But the other column that we are going to need is the actually it, it is the value column. So in that value column, that value will be corresponding to whether that um, Dow Jones index value was it high and no or that Dow Jones index was low. Okay, so let us use gather function. So I'm gonna clear the console and say Dow Jones index, right? I'm gonna say gather. Um, I'm gonna say gather Dow Jones index, right? And I'm going to pass in this function, which is gather. Okay, so what I'm going to pass in here, I'm going to pass in. The, the the data so in our case the data was Dow Jones DGAI data right the one that we have found the subset okay so what you want to specify here is you're gonna specify the key okay the key is actually what is going to be in the new data frame right so now the key in our case is going to be the Dow Jones index whether that Dow Jones index was it high or low. So we want that key column, right? And then the other column that we want is value column, right? And we specify the value that will either belong to a Dow Jones index that was high or a Dow Jones index that was low, okay? And following is we want to specify the two columns together, right? So in this case, we gather two columns, which is Dow Jones index dot high or Dow Jones index dot low. So we specify Dow Jones index, we specify high, and then you see it's Dow Jones index, then this column was low, right? So. What you notice is that in this example, we have only specified two columns, but in general, we can specify as many columns as you like. 
So this is just for demonstration purposes. So let us run this and let us say head. Um, let us say head and say gather. Um, we want the first four. And let us run this. So we observe now that we have created this new column, right, which can either be um, correspond to the high or low and the corresponding value. So in this case, we have used gather function. So what you notice here is that the variables that are not listed, such as date in our case, right, they are unaffected by the gathering process. Okay, so say for example, if um, we find the need to get the majority of columns within our data, then instead of specifying what to gather, we can specify what not to gather. So we can do so by listing the columns that we are not interested in, and we place a minus in front of each, right? So that is the basic um, understanding. Let's say that if you, you need to gather the majority of columns, right? But there are few majority that you do not want to get, right? So what you can do is you specify what not to gather by specifying a minus sign in front of each one. Remember that when you are finding the subset, the moment you specify minus sign, you are specifying omit. So that is how you can, uh, you can go on about gathering the majority of columns.